Hey Haunters, it's Liam. I, uh, I'm back with another video. Um, I know I've been getting kind of high-tech lately and I wanted to um, bring it down a little bit, make it a little more, uh, a little more usable for everybody. Um, let's not to offend anyone, I'm just saying like, I know a lot of my stuff is a little out there and a little bit of overkill for a lot of purposes, but I've found what is either going to be um, the coolest thing ever or possibly the stupidest thing ever, and you're gonna find out uh, alongside with me um, I actually have not tried this yet. I just kind of like dreamt this up in a like fever dream the other <laughs> the other night. Um, so we'll see how it goes. So here's the backstory. So I, I went to Big Lots and I had seen some people had posted a couple of things. And yeah, obviously, like, you know, the corporate Halloween industry is, uh, as always, ripping off uh, Home Haunters. This is the latest rip off. Um, but it's kind of cool. Um, I've been actually wanting to build a fuse box. I've actually got the parts over there, um, along with my electronic firecracker and all the other stuff, but I ended up buying this just cause it's, you know, whatever. thought I'd give it a try and it's only 16 bucks. So if it sucks, it sucks, whatever. Um, so I bought this and I guess I'll trigger it for you, but it's, it's super long and I think my cat's going to attack it. So here it is. <laughs> It's actually really loud, too, which I guess is good. So it looks around and whatever. Uh, great, thanks. Really long. Anyway, um, so there's that, which is cool. And whatever, it's it, it needs a little bit of aging and whatever, but it'll work. Um, but here's the other thing that I found, and I think this is actually going to be like a really cool thing to have um, for not only this project, but for a lot of other things. Um, I use passive infrared sensors for all of my props and they're just so flaky and they drive me nuts. But I'm always looking for some other way to trigger stuff. I know that this is not the best uh, step mat ever, but you know, for 10 bucks, um, I think it's gonna work pretty well. So this also has this like, I mean, it's a, so what it is, screaming doormat, 10 bucks, um, also big bots. I'm gonna go buy a bunch of these, I think, and use them for trigger pads, maybe, if this one doesn't suck too badly. Um, this is what it looks like. It comes with a nice long wire, which I think is good. Um, it's kind of small, but I think if you hide it under something or use a couple of them, I mean, the other thing is if you do use a couple of them, because they are so small, you could have like different effects that different ones trigger depending on where someone stands. I don't know. Um, that might be crazy, but it's kind of cool. Um, so what this comes with is just this little like speaker box and you turn it on and when you step on it, it makes this, like super stupid sound, but that's okay. Cause what I'm going to do is I'm going to Frankenstein these two bad boys together. And my hope is that I'm going to show you how to make a triggered, uh, Halloween prop without the need for a microcontroller or for anything technical besides uh, some basic soldering or splicing stuff together with electrical tape or with some sort of connector. So here's my thought. Here's what I'm gonna do. And like I said, you're gonna, you guys know, are gonna follow along with me. So I apologize if this sucks. You probably won't see the video if it sucks, but whatever. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna trim this wire, cut this wire, get rid of that stupid box, because it sucks. And I'm going to strip these wires. You don't need a fancy pants wire stripper like I have. You can just use whatever. No, my fancy pants wire stripper didn't do as well as I was hoping. <laughs> That's better. Cut that guy. All right, got one wire stripped. I'm gonna strip the other wire. Like I said, you don't need this fancy pants thing that I have, but whatever will work. I'm actually gonna give it a little extra length just because I'm not actually gonna solder anything together. I'm just gonna kinda of twist these guys together just to see if it even works. Um, hey Haunters, it's Liam. Uh, my apologies for that. Uh, my phone actually ran out of memory. So apparently that really irritating commercial is true. And if your phone runs out of memory while you're recording uh, a video, it turns out it doesn't record the last five minutes. So here we are. I'm gonna catch you up. Um, show you what I did. 
Um, it's obviously a few days later, or I'm Axel Rose and change my clothes a lot. That is not true. It is a few days later. Um, so here's where we were at, I believe, when we left off. My phone ran out of memory and it stopped recording uh, the fine video that I recorded before. Um, so I had taken this pressure mat um, from the screaming doormat prop from Big Box, um, cut the irritating little noise box off, and stripped the wires. And what you guys can see is that I took this fuse box um, that has a nice little try me button on it, cut the wires to the try me button, stripped those wires, and twisted these guys together. So now, instead of the try me button triggering the fuse box, what happens is the pressure mat triggers the fuse box. So really, I think I already said it, but you can do this with any prop that has a try me button attached to it. All you need to do is leave the wires plugged in, leave it on demo mode, strip the wires, and um, splice them together with the pressure mat. And I mean, you could do something super basic, like put this pressure mat under your, uh, you know, under your doormat at your front door, and mount this guy like right outside your door. You've got a long enough wire that you can run it up your wall, and probably really scare the crap out of some trick or treaters with very little money and very little effort. Um, as soon as they step on your doormat, it's going to go off. So I'll show you how this works. Um, again, instead of turning it on, because this thing is sound sensitive, which seems kind of stupid, but whatever. So I'm going to leave it on demo mode, so it's waiting for a signal from these wires, from the try me button, which again, essentially, excuse me, the pressure mat is behaving as the try me button. So as soon as someone steps on it, it just worked, I swear. There we go. That's what we get. Turn it off because it's loud and irritating. Um, so that's that. Now, I will tell you what I am finding from this experience is that this, <laughs> this pressure mat is uh, about what you would expect from a uh, $10 pressure mat. Um, it was pretty effective previously, and actually in the last video it behaved really nicely. Um, right now it's not behaving as well, but still, 10 bucks for a prop trigger um, as something to attach it to, like, seems like a pretty good deal to me, and um, I, I'm pretty sure that when it actually gets stepped on, it's going to be a lot more reliable. I think it's just because I'm kind of hitting just a, a small spot on it. When you put a whole foot on it, the thing's definitely going to go off. So I think that this is like a cool way to trigger a prop um, without the need for any prop controllers, programming, microcontrollers, anything else, any of the other like fancy high tech stuff that I talk about all the time. Um, anyone can throw this together. All you need is some wire strippers and a, you know, a, a triggerable prop and this nice little uh, screaming doormat from Big Lots. So hope that's helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, apologies for my phone running out of uh, memory. That was really irritating. Oh well. Um, and I will be back uh, again soon with another video. So happy haunting. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure and subscribe and I always appreciate your comments. So thanks a lot. See you later.